in the name of my ancestors peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the realities temple on earth internet ministry i am the gatekeeper the host of this program known here on social media wherever you may find me i am known as the mighty 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 mm, angel snub up seven i am your soul brother Number one, one of the things that many people hated about our brother Muhammad Ali, may he rest in peace, the greatest, the greatest boxer of all time, matter of opinion, matter of opinion, But he said he was the greatest. And when he said he was the greatest, when you brought a challenge to him, he would tell you, not only will I succeed, I would tell you the round. How bold you are. Some folks would view that as arrogant but in reality it was just confidence I know who I am I know what I can do I can sting like a butterfly float like a bee however you say that I said it wrong <laughs> that's Muhammad Ali they went to see his matches not because they wanted to see him win they wanted to see him fail because of his confidence that many call arrogant I know what I can do I know what I am I am the greatest and there are those who we call haters H-A-T-E-R-Z they're haters. They don't want to see you win. They want to see you lose. They want to see you on the bottom. They don't want nobody doing better than me. So they went to see Muhammad Ali lose. Now, I am not Muhammad Ali. I don't have world recognition. I don't have fame, I don't have fortune, but what I do have like Muhammad Ali, I have confidence that many people view as arrogance. Who the hell are you? You're not Muhammad Ali. You're not Dr. Martin Luther King. You're not Malcolm X. You're not so-and-so. You're not. But you carry yourself like you know it all. You carry yourself like you're great. It is confidence. It is not arrogance. And I have been able, since 2007, I've been able to overcome any challenge that they bring to me. Over 100 channels terminated. This is fact. And I have overcome, so I say, and I proclaim, I am the most powerful voice on social media. YouTube, Facebook. In this genre that we call black conscious. In this genre that we call pro-blackity, black, whatever. I am still part of it. Even though I'm beyond that classification, that identity. I'm still part of it. So there are those who don't come to listen for my welfare. They come to listen. Can I find something to bring this arrogant guy down? Because he's not the most powerful voice on YouTube. And there are those who come up with these titles themselves 
because they have witnessed and they see me. So they are uh, whatever. I'm the prince of Pan-Africanism. I'm the greatest voice of Elijah. They come up with these things because somewhere they heard about the most powerful voice on YouTube and you can't take that. It was well earned. Every challenge. Google tearing down my channels before I can even put them up good. We don't like to give credit where credit is due. Angry. Do you know why so many people are actually tuned in during our back and forth with what we call the demons of darkness? And why they joined, they united together because they wanted to bring down what they know is the most powerful voice on social media. The one with the answer. The one with the solution. Now I'm going to show you. But they don't or they did not attack the solution. They did not attack the ministry. They're going to attack me as a person. And they still found out. Because of the foundation that I stand on is strong. They still found out. You can't bring this house down. I am, I am the greatest. Nobody can claim that title because I earned it. Nobody else is even close to what I've been through on social media. There are those who get angry because I tell the obvious. Not only is it true, it's obvious. There are those who make claims that black people are warriors. That black people are gods. I have not seen that. I have not seen these challenges that you have succeeded in overcoming. Except talk. Unlike myself. I can prove. And there are those. I can prove. And I can prove my position. I am the greatest voice. I, I am the most powerful voice on this media. I accept all challenges. You can't do nothing with me. That's why they're so angry. 13. Over at least 13 people at one time. Charged this platform. And I survived. I'm still here. With my 10 subscribers. And my 10 views. And the reason why. Many of you are here. Is because back in. What was it? 2009, 2010. I got to look it up myself. I asked the black. YouTube community. I asked us to come together because at that time YouTube, Google was just terminating anybody for any reason. Turn our channels down. And I don't care and we know that many of these channels because I still have some of the video many of these channels they were not hate speech and all that but that's what YouTube was using Oh, that's hate speech. That's hate speech. Everything that black folks were saying out of our mouth, so brothers and sisters, it was hate speech. And they was tearing our channels down. So many brothers and sisters just gave up. If Google was not tearing your channel down, then your haters, they made it easy. Even to this day, they make it hated, easy for the haters to come and flag your channel and tear it down. So I reached out to the black community and I said to us and I will lead the charge. Let us file a class action lawsuit 
against Google, Google Corporation. It got quiet. Even though there were people, I'll sue Google for this. I'm going to file a lawsuit against Google. Because they was mad. They was upset. I said, well, let's let us as a group file a law, a lawsuit. Nobody. There were some people that pretend. I, I'm going to file a lawsuit. I'm going to join the lawsuit, Angel. Nobody. Nobody joined. Nobody wanted to petition against Google. What you going to lose? They're tearing your channels down in it. What you afraid of? It's not that they wasn't afraid. Coward. The warriors. The gods. You a god and you a warrior. And you don't fight for nothing, you scary ass. Nobody joined the lawsuit. I'm doing all the damn work. I'm the one taking the hit. I'm the face of the lawsuit. So Google gonna concentrate on destroying me, which they doing it anyway. So who gives a damn? Nobody. So I filed the lawsuit on my own. For me. And probably to this day, I'm the only one who actually took Google to court. And it was only by technicality that they that the case was dismissed. Because I was not at that time, I was not fluent on screenshots trying to uh, save the information that I need in order to prove my case. I was that close. And Google, YouTube was shaking. This billion dollar co company was shaking because regardless if I won $2, they have to change the way they do things. In fact, they began to change the way they do things anyway. Because my, just the fact that I took them to court might inspire others. So they stopped flagging down all our channels the way they was. And there are those who know this. They were bear witness. And somebody even sent me an email. Thank you, Angel. If it wasn't for you, what you done, these devils, these demons, will still be false flagging our child. False flagging. Lying. They were taking down my videos using the old hate speech garbage. They didn't prove it at all. The judge was like, I don't see no hate speech. What's hateful? What is he saying? See, it's different when you make a claim and then you have to prove it because you're a liar. Liars cannot prove their claims. So when you take them to court, they get all upset. Sweating, perspiring, nervous. That's the way Google was. So now when they flag Angel Snub Nub 7, they use Negroes like you. Copyright infringement. Uh, harassment. They use you. That's why my, my none of my channels last time was flagged because of hate speech. I wonder why Google. They flagged my channel because these Negroes, copyright infringement. And what is even copyright infringement? It was just pure hate. When you like somebody, you don't care if they use your material. Then you, then like the children that they are, I changed my mind. 
I didn't give you permission to damn lie. So I make sure I don't use none of these suckers. Not one second of their garbage. Who out here can say that Angel Snup No. 7 flagged them for copyright infringement? There's people that use my image. There's people that use my content. And I don't file copyright. Don't even try. I don't care. What, what do they say in Hollywood? All publicity is good publicity. I'm glad. I'm glad we shared this time together. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on your mind. All publicity is good publicity. So when I say that y'all cowards, you prove it, not me. Your actions prove that you're a coward. And you are lying to about you are God. You have done nothing godly. You've done nothing brave. Who knows what kind of benefits we could have could get if we had sued Google as a not as an individual, as a collective. But y'all scared and you're lazy. That's the way it was for people when I was locked up. I did all the work. I did all the paperwork. I'm the one doing all the work. And they scared. Dad, I don't know if I should do this. Uh, da, 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 da. Scary ass. And this is why I stand on what I stand on. I'm not going to go all out my way trying to fight and try to help some ingrates, some lazy ass cowards. So, because you're not worth it. You, you didn't earn nothing. Whether they like me or not, these folks give Angel Snub Nub 7 his respect. Whether you like it or not, you, you don't have any choice. Anybody, these folks who been with me in court, they don't want to go back to court with me anymore. There are those who don't like Angel Snub Nub 7, but they're happy if I'm on their side and fight with them because they have a, a, a loyal fighter. But in the meantime, their coward, selfish ass, duh, 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 duh. I don't like Angel Stump No. 7. Uh, duh, he, he don't like my video. Duh, uh, he, 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 his videos, technical difficulty. Duh, duh. He don't have good quality. All this dumb ass stuff. I'm supposed to go all out my way Stand up and do something for worthless ass people. It's not going to happen. The only reason why many of these people, Tariq Nasheed and Sonetta and Cynthia G or whoever, Farrell, the only reason why many of them was able to build up a channel because of what I've done. Google was tearing these channels down and that's fact. And I'm going to remind you of facts. Nobody else stood up like Angel Snub Nub said. You are a fool not to get on the soul train. You don't know what you can get when you stand up and fight for yourself instead of running your mouth and being a damn coward.